morning everyone hi um, in my last tutorial I said that I would do a quick tutorial on how to make um, a six pocket file folder that's what we're doing today um, I do prefer to use thicker card, st um, card stock than normal when I'm using when I'm doing these pockets because they they fold easier they're longer lasting I just prefer, that, prefer it that way. So this paper collection is Recollections. Um, I paid $10 for it from Lingcraft. It's Summer Garden. They're 12 by 12. They're only one-sided, but that's fine. Um, so do a quick flip. I do try to use the one paper collection when I'm doing something like this. Oh, that's pretty. So it's that. I do use three papers, but you can get two out of the three papers. There, that one. Two. And. There's an orangey. I'll use it as a small one. Okay. So these are the three patterns that I've chosen. As I said, you can get two folders out of this, so that's fine. I don't mind using three papers. Um, um, I'm going to use this for the cover. That'll look nice from the outside. You fold it. That'll be inside and then pockets. Yep, no, that's my cover. So first off we need to trim it up. Take off this white strip to start off with. These pages are a little, oh no, they're right on, right on 12, 12 inches. Get rid of that scrap. Now, we need for a B6 is, we need a 10 by 7, uh, sorry, a 5 by 7 folded is 10 by 7. With the sides, it works out to be 11 by 7. 11 inches by 7 inches. So I cut 1 inch off that side, gives me 11. Then when I fold it, it will give me the 7. So that's the cover. Oh, I'll come here. This is one of the pockets. It is cut at seven inches. By 10 inches. Well, actually a tad under 10 inches. If you cut it there now, it saves you having to cut it later. Okay. So that is 10 by... I just did that wrong. No, nope, that's right. 10 by 7. Sorry. This one. That way. Okay, so we'll cut that just under 10 inches. And this is 5. So 5 by 10. And that is how the pockets will layer up. 
Okay. Those in my scrap box. Oh, we finished with this. And out comes my scoreboard. So with this one, first off, we need to score at half an inch, at five and a half inches, and at ten and a half inches. Half an inch, five and a half, ten and a half. Turn it 90 degrees. And we'll score it at seven. That's it. That's all the score lines for that one. This one is just under 10 inches. Try and center it a little bit and do it score at five. This one is just under 10 inches. We'll also score it at five. All right, that's all the scoring done. So we have these three pieces. Now, fold these. And put them, oh, I might as well cut them all in here. So I have a one inch corner chomper, uh, sorry, a one inch, I've lost it, what's it called, punch, a one inch punch, centre it about halfway, and punch, oh, I didn't score that evenly, centre it about halfway, and punch. Okay, so for this one, turn in your half inch chip. Okay, with a pair of scissors, you cut from the bottom. There's your seven inch, there's your seven inch score line. So this is the part that turns up. So we're going to cut off this part here and this part here. Now I will bevel this edge here. That's where it folds over the other, over these. Right, so where it folds over, I will bevel that. I will cut this first. I cut just inside the score line. And then same on the other side, just inside the score line. Makes it easier for gluing. There's my there. And bevel that edge. Okay. So that goes in like that. Right. Too high. Hopefully, I did that at seven. Yep, I did. Okay, so this is too high. I'm going to have to cut some off that. I never measured it, did I? Seven, eight, nine. Nine and a half. That's better. Okay, so I've cut this now 11 by nine and a half, scored at seven and scored at half an inch, five and a half and ten and a half. Now, 
when I turn that up, it is like this. First off, what we have to do is we fold it this way. And my score line, oh, I'll fold it the other way, it'd be easier to see. There is my score line there. What I'm going to do is cut in about half an inch and angle it to the edge of the score line and cut on that score line to remove that little piece. Okay, that way you turn it up and your pockets will fit sit flat. You can also then fold it and your pockets will sit flat. Okay, so what we need to do is glue this. Oh, first off, I've got to cut these edges, not these edges. So that's where it folds to, there. So I take, snip off that side, snip off that side. So that's the part that we glue down. Same with this side. Snip off there. Okay. Now, why I do that if you bevel this edge, take that snip out, that means you have full excess for the width of the pocket. In there. If you don't and you just glue this down completely without putting that snip in, it's glued there, you don't get full range of that pocket because this here is glued down over it. So you bevel it there, you get the full, full range of your pockets. Okay, so we glue this bit. my computer telling my me and my last movie is ready there to an update for uploading to YouTube right that's glued it's only a little bit of glue you use Okay, so we've got that bit done. Next, we'll put in the large pocket. Now that, no, we'll do the next pocket first. Put in this pocket. Now because you cut it just under 10, that means that you can fold it and it won't buckle. Okay. Okay, so we have to do the same thing with this. We'll snip it there. I'm doing. I've now got these two little flaps that will hold this part in. These two are holding this up, these two will hold this in, these two will hold the top one in. Okay, so a bit of glue on the sides here. Bit of glue on this side. And 
this pocket is the top pocket. So when you put that in, you'll understand why I said it doesn't matter that it's only one sided. Go in. Okay, I'm just going to have to trim off the bottom of that slightly. It's not work going in all the way. Well, not comfortably. So I'm just going to take an eighth of an inch off the bottom and an eighth of an inch off this side where it was sticking out. I didn't score it correctly. Okay. You do realise when I cut all these bits off, I throw them on the floor. Then I have to get the vacuum out and clean it up. The things I do for YouTube. Okay, there it is. See, now it's sitting in flat. So now, you've got two, four, six pockets. I will glue down these edges here. go so that is for a b6 b6 size seven inches by five open it up you have two pockets there one two which go right to the edge on both sides then you have a second pocket a third pocket there which goes right to the side then we have two more which is pocket five right to the edge and pocket six okay now as I said the offcuts these offcuts now will be enough to make a second one so you're not really wasting paper so you do use three pages for it. Okay, so that is my tutorial complete for a B6 folder. And I'll show you how it goes into a book. Oh, I didn't trim the corners. Oh dear, I'm always forgetful about something. Now I do trim my, my corners. I have to be careful because I broke this the other day. I broke the other wing off, which is a guide. So I round off all the corners. Yeah, there. Now you also, if you round off the corner in the centre, it gives you a guide for the um, your TN screen, st planner string. There we go. Notch it there and there, which helps for your planner string to sit snugly and it doesn't damage it okay so there is my six pocket planner oh, six pocket file for a b6 planner or b6 traveler's notebook okay wonderful please leave any comments if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them thank you very much for watching